Very animated. Uh, all right, Bonnie Halwale, we're back with you. We're back on air, right? It's uh, yeah, it's you actually. It's you. Then it, it will be. It will go to Jacob Medio. There is only one Bonnie Halwale. Uh, the cartoon. Be, be, before I make my comments, I would like to send a message of uh, condolences to the family of uh, the late Chief Justice, uh, not Chief Justice, Justice Aganyanya. Yes. Who mm. came from our community and who passed on on the 17th of this <coughs> month. It's a pity that uh, he died just before uh, what transpired in uh, his homeland. Uh, I don't know where to start, but let me attempt to start with uh, the critical question. That why did we have a rally in Mumias when there was another one in Kakamega? It was raised by both you and uh, my brother Otiende. In very good faith, let it be on record this morning that we support the BBI that was <coughs> launched at Bombers of Kenya. Mm -hmm. And up to now, not the president, not the deputy president has made a single pronouncement to suggest that there's anything wrong with the BBI that was launched at Bombers. But as of 18th of this month, Raila had already run in comments and in activity and in assembly to indicate that there was everything wrong with the BBI that was launched in Bombers. And the pillar of the nine-point agenda of the BBI that came from the handshake was the fact, uh, was the issue of inclusivity. If indeed BBI is supposed to achieve inclusivity, then what we saw in Kakamega was missing it by a thousand miles. But the question would be, Boni, why would you choose to hold a meeting yeah, in that particular day? And this is what actually Otendo was asking you. Yes. Was it a Which very what, good it, 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 it time I'm, for you I, to hold this meeting? It is what I'm answering, my brother. So now, we chose to hold a, a forum in Mumias and not a rally. And we were conscious of the fact that Mumias where we were doing our economic forum, was a whooping 38 kilometers away from Kakamega. There's no way the two uh, attendants would have clashed. Number two, because we are law-abiding, we had a cultural function 50 meters away from Bohongo that morning. 50 meters? 50 meters away from Bohongo at a place called the Kakamega Approved Primary School Grounds. We had a cultural morning there, and believe me you, I actually went to the police and cancelled. And we took that function to three kilometers down the, the city at Amalemba. And believe me you, when we were at that function, when we were leaving, the police came to arrest me at 7.30 in the morning. So they foolishly thought that because the, my car was there and there was a crowd of around 15, 20,000 people singing their kaitol things, that I was inside the car. So they went and opened the doors of the cars only to find that I was not there. I was really laughing at them because I was just in the crowd and dancing like everybody else. But when they chased us, I then took off with Boda Boda. So we abide with the law. <laughs> We abide, <laughs> we abide the law. So they, 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 we foiled their attempts to arrest me so as to confine me, not to go to Mumiasi. Now, but, Diban, yes. the issue raised by Honorable Aaron, and which was spoken to by Wetangula, that they were angry that somebody had come in our home and they were touching the breasts of, my, of our wives. I want to agree with him. But Wetangula, that being the case, you and Mdavadi and Eseli and Wamunyini who attended, you let us down. You went into the function, 
you saw somebody touching the, the breasts of our wives <laughs> and you did nothing. I'm a bit uncomfortable with that particular phrase because also uh, you know, people are taking breakfast and with the children at home. So can we just... Yes, but can yeah. we just drop it for the show? You've been airing it. I know, I know. You've been airing it. Yes, please. You've been airing it. So as I leave it... Use it sparingly. Sparingly. So so thank you for the clarification for that. You let us down a silly. How could you sit there and see it happening? We should have seen action that you are unhappy. You as individuals really do let down because our people are very happy that you attended. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not saying they, att they, they attended. Being there and doing nothing as they caressed the <laughs> special places. You're getting out of order. Uh, 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 continue uh, with uh, the yes, subject, uh, please. Yes, uh, <laughs> you should have done more. Indeed, the anger I saw Wetangula with, I thought he was now moving into the second gear. He failed to engage. The second issue is uh, what uh, my brother Amolo is trying to laugh at me, that the train is coming to crush me. That's, it depends on what you perceive. What I'm seeing, I'm seeing a train that's, that has crushed Mudavad and is coming, <laughs> and a very fit athletic Bonifat is standing there, fully armed, with the, uh, the easily available uh, <laughs> ammunition. And what you don't know is that that, 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 uh, that kind of athletic body, my brother, when the train attempts to crash me, in the ninja style, I'll swim a soul and it will not, uh, it, it will not hit me. But more importantly, even as you people, even yeah. as you people laugh at us, mm. what's happening in Luyaland is like what was happening amongst the blacks in South Africa. When the white man was insisting that the leadership of the blacks kneel before them and denounce the spear of the nation, Omkhondo was Siswe, there were many prominent people who did it. But Nelson Mandela, who by then was a nobody, was just one of the leaders in, in the black movement stood up to them and said, I will not denounce Omhondo Wasiswe. And he prevailed. Thank you. I can I, no, you can't stop me. People no, no, spoke no, for no, five no, minutes. No, 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 no. People no. spoke for five uh, It's oh, true. Oh, but you almost why, why do you bring five me minutes? and then you cut me? Let the public the point, uh, the Let's hear from then we we'll come back clarity. to you. Hold on to your thoughts. Just a moment. Let's hear from <laughs> Japan. No, 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 no. Whether, whether he said he would somersault inside or outside. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. With due respect, I'm, I'm concluding with only two points. All right, okay, okay, then. Okay. I'm concluding with, two, with only two points. <laughs> then he'll, he'll answer our Matangi as well. Yes. yes. <laughs> so, what I have seen, and Sally, I want to agree with you, that this raw power that you saw in Kakamega, you're not going to stop it because I can see the attempts of the president by assembling governors and therefore uh, county government resources. You're not going to stop it. That is raw power. But we understand power, some of us. We know that when the gods want to destroy you, they first make you drunk with power. And I want to tell Raila Dinga, Amolo Diende, all those governors, that that raw power they are displaying is nothing to the people. Because we know that the power of the people is greater than the power of the people, of the, than the power of the people in power. It is coming. It is a known fact that the reason why ODM is pushing for this BBA rallies they want to politically reinvent themselves. And the reason why governors are running with him Thank is, you. He, he has made the point, let me emphasize, the governors are running to him. Some of them are looking for an opportunity under BBI to introduce a third tier of government. Let's leave it And that. the others, finally, yes. and the others, Diban, they are fearing prosecutions. All of them have got cases either with the DPP, DCI, or EACC. It's just a matter of time before the law catches them. So they want to hide under the canopy of 